Police Department. Andy McDonald was at the community event at Powderhorn Park where they at a rally about an hour ago have announced their plan to disband the Minneapolis Police Department. Andy McDonald was at the community event at Powderhorn Park where they made that announcement. He joins us live. Andy, what do you know? Hey, thank you, Chris. Well, their main message here was to invest in the community and not the police. About a thousand people were here at Powderhorn Park, many still present here on this side of the slope as they watched Minnesota, Minneapolis City Council member, a majority of them, uh, vote in favor of replacing, removing Minneapolis police and replacing them with community-based public safety. The sign in front of the stage stated their motive to defund police. City Council President Lisa Bender said they're effect efforts to reform have, quote, failed. The officials say they are looking to other ways to maintain public safety in their communities and are starting a conversation on how to move forward together. Our commitment is to do what's necessary to keep every single member of our community safe and to tell the truth that the Minneapolis police are not doing that. Our commitment is to end our city's toxic relationship with the Minneapolis T Police Department, to end policing as we know it, and to recreate systems of public safety that actually keep us safe. That was the president of Minneapolis City Council, Lisa Bender, and other city council members also uh, were talking. What the fuck up, world? How are uh... This shit is so irritating, dog, because you have silly motherfuckers in power who do irritating ass shit, like not use their fucking brain. One thing about it, two things for sure. <clears throat> why are you disbanding? Well, I know why you disbanding the police department. My whole thing is I, you're trying to make motherfucking, y'all trying to get some national police shit going on. You know what I'm saying? I, I think Obama was talking about it when he, when they pulled his ass, finally pulled his ass in the shit. Talking about nationalizing police and shit. Y'all don't want that. Trust me. Y'all don't want that. It'd be a lot worse. You understand? So you ask me, uh, what do we need to do? Man, you need to take each individual case and treat it like an individual fucking case. You know what I'm saying? One person died. It don't mean it applies to every fucking body. It don't mean every cop bad. And two, the motherfucking supposedly good cops. Stand y'all ass up and point that shit out. They taking y'all lives, y'all pinching, and y'all not saying nothing. You know what I'm saying? I believe all this shit is propaganda by the Democrats. Like I said, they just motherfuckers just pushing that. that that's one motherfucking group of people who going to get what the fuck they got to say out. And you know what I'm saying? Say, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? And we going to say it anyway. Like, bro, they like a fucking bulldozer. But this shit is funny to me because y'all don't want national police. You understand? Because it's going to be the same fucking police or community police, however the fuck y'all nice way you want to put it. Because it's going to be the same fucking officer. Who y'all think going to get the mandate to all this shit? You know what I'm saying? If they want to go a step notch, of course, you got other military tactics and military police and all that other bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is the motherfucking public is hanging the shit out of self. Why? Because y'all are agreeing with every fucking thing. Y'all agreeing with every fucking thing. Like, how could you possibly, like, I don't know. It seems like everybody just turned off their brain. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to fucking think for themselves. Because this is about as stupid as to come. Disbanding the police. Thought you were supposed to make the police department better. Because this is something that y'all tax dollars pay for. Our tax dollars pay for. The police and all this other stuff. So motherfuckers should be listening to us. Not giving us a solution what they think is the best way miss Lindsay, president of the city council i can give a fuck about that shit y'all need to start calling these people out on their bullshit because they be sitting up here just doing little little stupid sneaky shit that affects you at the end so that's just like uh with the damn um country you know what i'm saying they is forcing the fucking country open do you know how many people are backed up on lights uh, how many evictions are going to be filed? Like, the shit is going to be crazy. You know what I'm saying? But we wasted a whole two weeks worried about somebody that y'all don't even fucking know. You understand? And they finna hit y'all again. I have told y'all since last year, probably before that, that 2020 was going to be a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? 
and it's more to come. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because everybody wanted to be over, but one of my subscribers said something real, real, real smart today. Pause, take a deep breath, process, and proceed. You know what I'm saying? Because one monkey don't stop no motherfucking show. So, with that being said, man, <sighs> don't pay this shit no attention. You understand? Because the only reason why I say that, that's the only solution. Because this shit is going to crumble its motherfucking self. Because of the, the authenticity is not there. The genuine, you know what I'm saying, feel for, for, for you know what I'm saying, love for a person is not there. This shit is, it feels actish. You know what I'm saying? Like a badass Tyler Perry movie. But, um, I just wanted to bring this stupidity up. I'm not, you know what I'm saying, trying to point out some shit. Oh, no. no, I'm just pointing out just the stupid decisions in the movie that are leading, you know what I'm saying, people like yourselves, you know what I'm saying, down the wrong path. I mean, the people who agree with all this bullshit going on, this propaganda shit. You know what I'm saying? If you agree with that shit, yeah, they're leading you right down the wrong path. You know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, it'll be vote for this and vote for that and... You know what I'm saying? You haven't sat down and figured out what the fuck you want. This is what I be talking about with rep, uh, 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 what's the shit? Reparations. You understand? We have to have a, a deep conversation. Who deserves reparations and what was done to who? You know what I'm saying? Apologies have to be given out. You know what I'm saying? We're not even talking about money. We're talking about the right way to <clears throat> handle reparations. And um, I think it's been like done two times in this whole world's history. I think like two countries got reparations. Of course, we know the Jews, you know what I'm saying? They got reparations. I think they still get money to this day. I think they get like 2600 or something a week. You know what I'm saying? I know uh, our country, uh, uh, Trump sent like 38 fucking billion dollars over that bitch last year. You know what I'm saying? So this is just like some annual shit. This annually. You know what I'm saying? So. That's neither here nor there, and I can go on and on, but I just wanted to talk about this goddamn stupid idea to fucking disband the fucking goddamn, because it's, 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 it's more of a, the so-called New World Order or this One World Government shit. Like, if you go to uh, Obama's last fucking interview, he was talking about it in old special-ass, magic-ass way, using special words and shit, but, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's... Like I said, it's, it's, it's crazy how this shit is forming out because it's like a real movie. Like, I thought it was going to be like some step-by-step -step shit and this step happened or something like But no, it's like a real life movie. It's like, so you got to keep up with this shit. I mean, if you observe it like myself, but that's neither here nor there. But, um, yeah, man, that's about it, man. Um, got a couple more videos coming up. I'm going to do one on the Buffalo Soldiers. We're going to get back more into our indigenous studies. You know what I mean? What we what this channel is all about. And that's bringing the light that there's no such thing as black and white. And you know what I'm saying? This black and this racial thing and this whole thing called slavery is uh, told to a nigga asshole backwards. But this is for the people who want to learn more. You know what I'm saying? Get in the details of the story. Because when we was in elementary school, we just got like an overall... You know what I'm saying? Perspective of what was going on. So we basically thought everybody was enslaved, but that's not how it worked at all. It was very intertwined, but it's very simple. But I'll be bringing more videos on that. I'm probably do one on the Buffalo Soldiers telling who the Buffalo Soldiers was and what the hell Bob Marley was talking about. But, um, Grand Night, man. How are y'all? Be easy. Y'all know me. I just got an opinion. And, um, uh, y'all keep them vibrations high, man.